Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Vikas here and in today's session I will be de demonstrating about a new project that is a complete DevOps project. So basically in simple word what I am trying to achieve here like we will we will have a deployment over a Kubernetes cluster using Jenkins CI CD pipeline. Okay. So he, in this project we are uh, taking help of we are going to use uh, various DevOps tools like uh, github jenkins sensible kubernetes cluster okay and we will also learn about like uh, what uh, like for kubernetes we should know about this uh, deployment and uh, deployment and services okay and we will try to write ansible playbooks along with that uh, we will try to write a, a docker docker file okay so let me uh, quickly walk you through the whole scenario what we are trying to achieve here so see basically a developer will write a docker file and once he will push it to the docker a uh, github repository okay so whenever the github repo will get a new commit okay so it will it will notify the jenkins through webhook like a new code has came please build it so once the jenkins uh, will start building okay so jenkins will do what jenkins will pull out all the code from github repository once the jenkins will get all the code from github repository it will ssh to the ansible server once it will ssh to the ansible server means it is okay so once it will ssh to the ansible server it is it will start executing uh, the image okay because developer has pushed the docker file so it came to the ansible server okay so ansible server when it will get the docker file it will start building the image based on the docker file once the ansible server will build the docker image it will tag it and once it will tag it it will push to the docker hub okay then again this ansible server will second task of ansible server is it will ssh to the this our kubernetes cluster server okay it will ssh here and uh, ansible will run a playbook so that it will pull all it will run the kubectl command on the web app which is our kubernetes cluster and it will try to fetch the latest image which just now it has built and pushed right the same it will uh, pull from the docker hub and it will start building the image okay from the image it will build a container and that container should be uh, uh, accessible to us using uh, ip and the port which we are going to enable by writing the service.yml in this kubernetes cluster okay so this was the overall scenario so in simple word what i have told we are going to achieve a kubernetes deployment using jenkins ci cd by using various tools so along with that let me tell you like what are the prerequisites so these are the prerequisites like git linux commands jenkins docker and you should have a docker hub account right so because once the ansible server will build the docker image based on the docker file we have to push push it to the docker hub so we have to log in docker here right so once we will log in docker hub here so we can easily push to our docker hub account the latest image of that right so along with that what we are trying to achieve here we will have one latest image along with that we will uh, maintain a version also so like based on the build build is build number is one then uh, with the build number one it will have one latest image also it if second time it will build another image then the build number will be two right along with that it will have a latest image of the second one so like this we are maintaining version as well as we have we will have a separate latest image also so what are the prerequisites going follow so okay so the docker hub account you should have one along with that ansible kubernetes and for this project actually we are going to set up a mini kube cluster here right 
so okay so basically we need three easy to instances that is jenkins ansible and one for kubernetes cluster for the web app right so we can uh, install kubernetes on any of the server like aw aks ec2 and uh, uh, either it is minikube whether it is aks or either it is eks along with that you can uh, use cope also or you can use cube adm server also anything you can configure and that should work right so this was the overall scenario what we will achieve in the next session so keep watching and please like comment and subscribe if you are having any issues and so that uh, I, it will keep me motivated to do such things for you thank you